Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Leo. This is going to be for the end of your December. Uh, uh, you can apply this to any, any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. Nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say, okay? So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of the month. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. <clears throat> if this message didn't resonate with you, uh, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Leo. Over energies for Leo. What's surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know for the end of their December? What's surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect? All right, Nine of Pentacles here in the Four of Cups. I don't know. It seems like you have it all here, Leo, but I feel like you're looking for more. Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. You, I mean, it seems like you have it all. It could be that you're getting bored or that you're looking for something more exciting here, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, yeah, you're definitely looking for new opportunities here, okay? So I feel like you want to start something new here, okay? Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you're working a 9 to 5 situation where you're getting bored of it, okay? We have Six of Cups also, so I feel like, you know, also I feel like there is a situation where you're revisiting the past here too, or the past is trying to revisit you, okay? And whoever, whatever this past situation is, I feel like there is, there is a yearning or wanting a new beginning here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Nine of Cups. Seems like there's a situation, Leo. I feel like regarding a past situation here, regarding maybe an ex here, I feel like someone here is not happy without someone. Mila, come here. Mila, come here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. Mila, come here. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Four of Cups, Girl, and the Five of Swords. You know, I just feel like there's an energy of, yeah, you know, when it comes to work situation here, Leo, I feel like the competitiveness, the grind, you know, I just feel like you want to get out of that. This is something that you don't want to be doing or this is something that you don't want to continue to pursue because I feel like it's not in alignment with who you are as a person. With the Ace of Pentacles here in the Star card, you know, I feel like you're, you know, I feel like you're being called for a higher calling here and I feel like that's something that you want to pursue. Maybe, you know, the Star card is an energy of giving back to others, helping others here, you know, being of service to others. So maybe you want to do something along those lines here with the Star card. You know, sometimes that Star card is the energy of a healer. Uh, the uh, Knight of Cups. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy. So Leo, there is the energy of bossing up. There is the energy of sort of like perhaps receiving and accepting the calling that you're meant to do here, okay? Six of Cups with a Page of Swords. I feel like you're about to get communication from, from someone in your past here. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's not happy without you. I mean, this person's spying on you on social media. This person's like watching your every move here. This person wants to reach out and communicate with you and have a new beginning here with you. Uh, keep in mind, we have that Nine of Cups in the reverse. So whoever this is, this is an individual that's not happy without you, uh, Leo. What else do we have here for Leo? Outcome advice. What else does Leo needs to look out for? Work on here for December 2022. Sorry, I keep looking over 
at my dog because she just had surgery, so I'm just making sure that she's okay. It's okay, Miwa. The uh, Hermit in the reverse, Virgo energy, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I do feel like you're being called here. I do feel like a higher power is calling you, calling on you for something better here. This is so interesting because with the Hermit card in the reverse, you know, I feel like maybe this is something that you're not seeing or that this is something that you don't want to pursue or that you're scared to pursue right now, okay? It's sort of like, you know, even though you're going through a situation where, you know, perhaps you are working in, com in a competitive work environment here, it's kind of like safe too, you know? So uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we had the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Magician in the reverse here. Gemini Virgo. So there's a situation that I feel like you just can't put in any more effort in. You know, the arguing, the fighting, the competition here. Yeah, I just feel like you're trying to seek maybe enlightenment here, happiness. I don't know. I, I This is interesting. Leo, so for some of you guys, I mean, this might resonate with some of you guys. I feel like there is a curiosity when, <clears throat> when it comes to spirituality. You know, it's like sort of like an energy of like, oh, there is something to it. But when it comes to pursuing it, there's a fear of doing that. Yeah. So I'm with the Knight of Pentacles I f because I feel like there is an energy of fearing what you will unlock or unfold. And I feel like there's a fear surrounding that. We have the devil here, Capricorn energy. I do feel like there's an energy of wanting to get out of that nine to five grind. Yeah, the competitiveness, the competition, the backstabbing, the stepping all over each other just to get to the very top. Devil, Capricorn energy, the Hierophant. That's too many. <laughs> Tell me about the Hierophant. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I feel like you're this queen here. And I feel like this emperor is the one or this page is trying to come back towards you yeah so queen of cups and the six of pentacles so right now i just feel like you're you're uh, you're really you're devoting yourself to a higher power to your calling here basically but like i said i feel like there's a fear of going on that path because of, of fearing of what you will unlock and unfold yeah when you go on the spiritual journey you, un you unpack a lot you don't know what's going to pop up so uh, it's kind of like understandable the way that you're feeling here the uh five of wands in the reverse nine of swords the magician in the reverse i'll just pull this one and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces okay there is someone that's trying to come back towards you we have the king to the queen of cups this is a this is a soulmate connection here yeah i just feel like whoever that you're trying whoever this is that's trying to come back this is an individual that has manipulated you. This person has caused a lot of conflict, stressed you out. I just feel like you don't want anything to do with this person anymore because you know you're not able to manifest with this individual. Keep in mind, this past stuff is coming up because we do have Mercury retrograde coming up, okay? So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.